In this video, I try to beat Terraria using spellbooks only, and as many of you know, there aren't that many that are considered good, especially later on in the game. So the question is, will I be able to beat the final boss Moonlord? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, so to get my first spellbook, it all comes down to luck. It's located in the dungeon, and sometimes this weapon is just way too deep down, and if you keep going, well, you're about to get demolished by a dungeon guardian. But luckily for me, I was able to get one without getting killed. Now that I have the water belt, I'll be using this weapon throughout the entire pre-hard mode journey because it's literally the only book I can get. When it turned to night, I collected as many stars as I could to increase my max mana. Then I mined underground and found some life crystals. After I collected some ores, I upgraded my cactus armor into tungsten. I was then able to find myself a pair of Hermes boots, so now I'm ready to take on the Eye of Cthulhu. I didn't have enough lenses to make the summon, but the Terraria gods knew I was ready, so they said, here you go. So I quickly went back home and built a platform to fight it. After I killed the Eye of Cthulhu, I found a meteorite that fell, and with the Vein Miner mod, after breaking one block, it mined almost the entire thing. And look, it made like a like a little heart thing. No? Just me? Okay. With the meteorite, I crafted the meteor armor that increases my magic damage by 21%. Then a goblin army invaded, but I dealt with them pretty fast. I knew I was able to kill the Brain of Cthulhu, but it spawned right on top of me, so I took a lot of damage. But the good news is that I killed some of the eyes to get enough tissue sample to make the Deathbringer pickaxe. Once I made it all the way down to hell, I mined some hellstone to make the molten pickaxe. Afterwards, I summoned Skeletron, and I should have built some barriers on the sides to let my water belts bounce off them to do more damage, but at that time, I thought I'd be fine, but I was wrong, and Skeletron ended up killing me. I fought Skeletron again, but this time I built some barriers, and that made all the difference. Now you guys know that every time I go down the dungeon, I always search for the cobalt shield because I hate knockback so much. But this time after opening every single golden chest, I wasn't able to find one, which was so unfortunate. Every video that I've made, I was always able to find one. But it looks like this time, I'll be playing without one. I made my way back to hell to build a bridge to fight the wall of flesh. But I remembered that I found a lot of water walking potions, so I stopped building the bridge and ran all the way to the right to summon it. After killing the wall of flesh, I went to the crimson to break some crimson altars to spawn in the hard mode ores. I then mined some palladium, mithril, and then titanium. With the titanium, I made the full titanium armor. 
To make my next weapon, I went to the underground hollowed biome to collect some crystal shards to make the crystal storm. The damage is pretty weak, but it's still better than the water bolts. When it turned to day, I went up into the sky to farm some wyverns for the souls of flight. I killed a harpy and it dropped a giant harpy feather which I used to make the harpy wings. And it's a lot better than the angel and demon wings. There was another spell book I wanted to make, so I killed some ichor stickers, obviously for their ichor, to then make the golden shower, otherwise known as the pea shower weapon. Now it's time to fight the mechanical bosses, starting with the destroyer, but with this boss having 120,000 health and my weapons not doing much damage, I wasn't even able to get it down to 50% of its health. I knew I wasn't going to be able to defeat the destroyer with my tactics, so I fought the other two first, and they were much easier to fight. I used the golden shower to reduce its defense first, and then I switched to the crystal storm. I pretty much did the same thing to the twins as well. All I need to defeat now is the destroyer, and I knew that staying up in the sky and hitting it from there wasn't going to work out, so I had to fight it near the surface where I can line up my golden shower to deal as much damage as possible. I made the pickaxe axe and mined some chlorophyte to make the armor set. This set summons a crystal above my head that shoots out leaves. I wanted this set because my weapons aren't that strong, so I'll take as much damage increase as I can. And now it's time to take on Plantera. After defeating Plantera, I pissed all over the golem until it reached its second phase. That's when I finished it off with my crystal storm. The last weapon to get is the Razorblade Typhoon, which has a chance to drop from defeating Duke Fishron, so I went to the ocean and built an arena to fight him in. Getting him to his third phase was extremely scary. Now every hit does over 100 damage, so a couple of those and it's over. Luckily, I was able to get it on my first kill. Every click will shoot out two razor blades that home in on enemies. Afterwards, I went to the dungeon and farmed some ectoplasm to create the specter armor. Now this armor has two different set effects, depending on which helmet you wear. Wearing the mask will allow you to deal extra damage by summoning projectiles after hitting an enemy, and wearing the hood will allow you to heal yourself after dealing damage. Then I went on to destroy the four pillars, starting with the vortex, then the solar, then the nebula, and then finally stardust. And now it's time to take on the final boss, Moonlord. 
Defeating this boss took a very long time, but it wasn't necessarily hard. Whenever I got to a low health, I would make sure Moonlord's tongue wasn't attached to me, and then I would put on the Spectre Hood to heal to full health. Also, going to the ocean with Duke Fishron's mount helped dodge Moonlord's attacks much easier. There we go guys, so yes, it is possible to beat Terraria using spellbooks only. It was difficult at the start, but once you get your hands on the Razorblade Typhoon, then you're pretty much set. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time. Peace.